Welcome back to RimWorld Science, the show where we do experiments to figure out how RimWorld works. And today we're going to be answering some questions that come to us from Joe Holland, who asks, I'd like to know how skill affects quality, construction, art, and crafting. For example, does health affect quality? What if someone levels up art several times during a big sculpture? Will its quality depend on the starting skill or the end skill? Same for a construction project that has two builders. So these are great questions. So to answer them, we are going to just run some tests and see what happens when we do all these different things with our builders. But first, we're going to have to get a baseline. So here at this room testing facility, we have 10 clones. We've got so 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. And as you can see, these guys are all in perfect health and they are all duplicates of each other with the exception that their construction, artistic, and crafting skills are changed. So zero is at zero, two is at two, four is at four, six is at six, and so on. So we are gonna just have them start out by doing some building. We'll let them get going. And as they do that, we'll mention a few things that we do know pretty well. We know, for instance, that their skill and their health and things like that will affect how quickly they work. See, 20s getting all done, zero construction just failed, things like that. What we want to really just focus here on our quality. So, for instance, you know, over here there'll be some awful ones, down here there'll be some excellent, and so on. Now, to do this, we're going to have each of these guys build 50 beds, make 50 toques, and build 50 art sculptures. And we'll go through and see how many of each kind there is. And then we'll assign a score to each one. So we'll have minus three for awful, minus two for shoddy, minus one for poor, zero for normal, one for good, two for superior, three for excellent, four for masterworks, and five for legendary. And then we'll figure out the average of each of these to give us a kind of baseline for how good these guys are going to do. But this is going to take them a little bit of a while, so we're going to let them get to it. We'll be back to you when it's complete. Okay, these guys are done now, and I've gone through and counted up and gotten averages for all the things that they've built. I'll put them up here on the screen. It's a lot of numbers there, so I don't want to try to read them all out. You can see, however, there's a fair bit of variation within even the averages across the categories, like 20 on beds had 1.88 as his average, but on art was as high as 2.22. So that's a pretty big spread. Now, one thing that you will see if we go through here is that although, for instance, 10 for beds had an average of point, you know, 0.12, as we go through, there's some shoddies, there's some excellence, uh, there's, there's some pores. Let's see, are there any awful, maybe some awfuls in here. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. There's a lot of things in here. But yeah, we're kind of all over the map. And that's because the way that the game works when it gives qualities uh, based on how skillful the builder is, it kind of gives a spread that's based around a center point. So what we're kind of trying to find here is the center point. And given the smallest sample sizes, about only 50 of each, did the calculations, and on average, there's about like a point between point three and point three five plus or minus in every direction. So that's a pretty big spread. Now, if you look at this graph here, you can see there's the blue line that tracks the beds, the red line tracks the art, and the green line tracks the toques. And if we put a kind of best fit line. That's the purple one that's added on, goes right through there. It gives us a pretty good sense of what a reasonable estimation is going to be. And as you can see, on the best fit line, you're right in the middle there at the uh, skill of 10, has an average of about zero. And then with our error of kind of plus or minus 0.3, that fits in real nice with what we got. And then each kind of two skill levels down goes down by about 0.5. And each one up goes up about by about 0.5. Now, I'm not 100% sure this is the best best fit line we could have done. Probably looking into the code and doing some math would give us something that's a little bit different. But this is pretty good within the ballpark. Let me say a little bit more about exactly what those 
plus or minus uh, 0.3 errors mean as well. Basically, you know, the difference of 0.3 can be the difference really between, you know, being a 10 or being an 8. We might easily have an 8 outperform a 10. If we did have an 18 outperform a 20 on the beds, which is kind of surprising. What that tells us is that when you get fairly close together, the amount of variation and randomness is enough that you might not notice big differences if you're, you know, even making as many as 50 things, you might not notice big differences because of how spread out they can be. So if we were to do, say, a thousand beds, we would probably find these numbers kind of stabilizing and having much less room for error. But that kind of test really isn't doable. So we're going to stick with this and go from here. Now for our next test, we're going to run the exact same test we did before with 50 beds, 50 tukes, and 50 pieces of art. Only this time we're going to do it with people who have different health situations. For instance, we have here good arm, who has a bionic arm, bad arm, who has only one arm, good eye with a bionic eye, bad eye with a missing eye, good leg with a bionic leg, bad leg has a peg leg, and Alzheimer's. Uh, who has weakened consciousness, 80% consciousness. And each of these is reduced at 60%, 120 for sight, 50 and 120, and for manipulation, 50 and 120. Now, we should note that we know this is going to affect things like building speed and the chance of having a failed construction because it shows right in the stats. So good arm here, for instance, he has a construction speed of 242 and a construction fail chance of 1.9. Bad arm has a construction fail chance of 2.7 and a speed of 113, considerably lower. So all of those things have been affected. We just want to know how these guys are going to do for their construction quality. So we're unforbid all of these doors and we'll let these guys go and get started on their work. And then when they're all done with the exact same thing, we'll count them up. We'll see what the averages are and be back to you in a moment. Okay, these guys have finished up and I've counted, done all the math, gotten the averages, and I've put them up there on the screen for you. And as you can see, looking around, for the most part, they're all fairly close to zero and generally within kind of 0.25 or 0.3, the error around zero, we said we should expect for around 10. The one exception is bad eye here. When it came to his beds, as you can see, he had a minus 0.36, which is pretty low and might be a little bit worrisome. But you'll notice that only happened for the beds. And actually, when you get to the other things that he did, he did reasonably well. In fact, even better than some of his bad compatriots or his better, uh, even better than some of his better compatriots. So it looks as though that might just be an outlier. So it looks that as though health is not making any impact on the quality of this stuff, or at least be a little more careful about it. If it is making any impact, it's not the sort of impact that is going to show up significantly out of 50 things that you make. Okay, for this next test, we want to see what happens when we have somebody working on a project and it switches in the middle. So we have a bunch of zeros and a bunch of 20s, 120 for each of these five cells. So if we come down here, let's start out by noting something about the crafting. So if we, for instance, well, which one are you here, zero? Um, if we take you and we allow you to do some art, let all you guys do some art. Okay, you're gonna work on that for a bit. That's good enough. Now we'll go ahead and make you stop and we'll let the other guy go work on the art. So you stop. We have you go work on the art. What happens? You come, you drop that down and you start taking the wood here, which is not what we wanted you to do. So let's uh, have you stop doing that. We want that wood for the bed. The reason is that when you have an art project or if you have something you're selling, some sort of crafting thing, whoever starts it, if that person doesn't finish it, another colonist is not going to finish it for you. So really, this sort of thing can really only be done. Stop all you guys with the art. 
this sort of thing can really only be done um, with, say, a bed or a piece of furniture. So now we'll go ahead and have these guys work on the beds. We'll start, first of all, having the not very good constructors do their thing. And when they're close but not quite finished, we'll make each of them stop. So, uh, you want to get work in there, Burrow? Come on, cowboy. All right. Good thing they're slow, so we're not at a big chance of missing it. All right. Let's go ahead and have these guys, each of them, stop. They're more than halfway done. We'll let Zero get a little more done as well. Oh, you failed! All right. Keep working on it, man. Good enough. Now we'll go ahead and switch this out so that all of the good constructors are constructing. And I missed one, didn't I? Yeah. And we'll go back here and... Oops. And make them all go ahead and finish this up. All done. And let's count. We've got one excellent bed, one excellent bed, one superior bed, one good bed, and one excellent bed. So I've done this test a total of five times, giving us a total of 25 beds to go through. Not quite the 50 of our last test, but still a pretty good sample to be getting on with. And going through all the averages, as we've done before, we got an average of 2.24, about what you would expect if they had just been built by 20s and the zeros hadn't even been involved in the first place. Now we'll do the exact same thing that we just did, except this time we will let the 20s go first. Now these guys are much faster builders, so I've got to be much quicker on the draw to make sure they don't finish building before I have a chance to stop them. Like this guy here, look at that. Almost done already. Let's go ahead and stop you as well, just to be in the safe side. Stop you. Now you guys, you want to get going on that? Yeah, you're going. And stop you. And we'll stop you. And now let's go ahead and just switch these priorities out like we're supposed to. And go ahead and uh, let you guys off the hook. Get you guys started. All right, zeros, finish them up. And what do we got this time? We have got an awful, an awful, an awful, an awful, and a poor. Four awfuls and a pour. And once again, I have run this test five times as well. And in those five times, I did the averages again. This time it was a minus 2.56. Again, about what we would have expected if these had just been built by zeros and 20s had never even been involved. Now for this next test, we're going to see what happens when we have people level up during an art project. So all of these zeros here are going to go and start building an art project. And we are going to come over here and use the Max Skills tool. So we're going to let them get started. We're going to just watch and we're going to wait. And once they've just started a little bit into it, we'll go ahead. Oh, what you doing, man? You just taking your time? Okay. We will go ahead and max their skills once they just get a little bit into it. Let's make sure we get a little bit of that yellow bar starting to come up. There it is. So now we come through. All of them get maxed out to 20s on everything. And we just let them finish. Okay, they're all done now. And we can see we've got superior, excellent, excellent, more excellence. Oh yeah, excellent, superior all over the place, an excellent, and a legendary. And as before, I have done this a total of five times, and the average for all of that was 2.3. So again, well within the range we'd expect if these were all just done by legendary people to begin with. This test will be just like the last, except this time we're going to wait until these guys are pretty far along, till these... Bars are closer to done, maybe two-thirds of the way along, before we max out these guys' skill. Right about there looks pretty good. We gotta do we can't wait too long, because if we wait too long, then some of these guys will finish while they're still zeros. And we'll see if this makes much of a difference to the quality. Alright, we have got here a masterwork, excellent, superior, good, superior masterwork. 
superior, excellent, superior, and superior. And the average over the five trials for this was 2.28 really, really close to that 2.3 and actually slightly lower. So it looks as though the time at which these guys level up doesn't make much of a difference, just the level they are when they finish. Okay, this last test is going to check out something I have wondered for a very long time, and that is whether the skill of a builder affects any of a room stats. So we have a uh, total of five builders here, someone at 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20 skill. They're going to run through and each of them is going to build 10 rooms. We also should have it set so that each of them will clean when they're done. So they'll keep these rooms nice and clean as well. And we'll just go through and check the room stats and see if there is any difference. These guys are mostly all done except for four up here, partly because he's only a four and he's slow, and partly because I didn't notice that he wasn't originally set to be constructing, so we got a late start on things, but it's not going to matter because as you can see, click on this and we come and look at each of these rooms. It's got impressiveness of 15, wealth of 209, space of 21, beauty and cleanliness of zero, and if we go through all of the rooms. That's exactly how it looks. Even the ones that four has completed. The only difference is if it gets ugly, then the beauty goes down. If the cleanliness goes down, I mean, it gets a little bit ugly. So it looks as though what we have learned today is that, first of all, as we just saw, construction skill makes no difference whatsoever when it comes to the quality of rooms or buildings that are built. Their stats just are going to be whatever they're going to be based on the materials that are used and the type of thing that is built. Beyond that, it looks as though when it comes to making items or furniture, things that have a quality specification, the only thing that seems to make any significant difference on the quality is the skill level of the builder at the time that it's completed. So that's a largely negative result, but that's really good. It means we know we don't have to worry about putting our great builder who all of a sudden has gotten serious brain damage. We can let him go ahead and build stuff too. He'll take a little longer, but he'll make just as good quality stuff. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. In the meantime, let me know what question you want us to look at in RimWorld Science. I'll see you soon.